New York City, the Big Apple. 16 million people, each one with a story. This is one of them. My name is Eddie. I'm 10 years old. This is my stuff. I took these pictures myself. Here's my neighborhood, East Harlem. And here's where I live, apartment 4C. Here's where I go to school, PS72. My toughest class is math. It's also my favorite. Ever since I got a teacher named Ms. Tolliver. Good morning, everyone. She isn't always just a teacher. Sometimes she's a wizard, the great pumpkin, or a raisin lady. But most of the time, well, she's just Miss Oliver. Okay, right now, take out your journals, and I want you to write about what you learned today. Miss Oliver makes us keep a journal. I took the idea and ran with it. My mom has lots of names for this mess, but I call it my files. So right away, what does that show everyone about solutions to problems? There's more than one way to skin a cat. Miss Sullivan says that a lot. She also says that math is all around us. It's everywhere. You just have to know where to look. Uh, we're gonna start right here. How many people do you think could sit on the bench? Uh, six. Four. How many times do you go up and down the steps? Come on, many. Six. <laughs> Today, my assignment was to find an arch. I found two. A circle, you cut a part of it, it becomes an arch. To build one arch with simple blocks, you work like this. See, that arch stands by itself. With that one arch, if you rotate it, you have a dome. If you repeat it, you have a room, a house. And use your imagination, you'll see you can build an entire city. That guy's an architect. You see, I'm not sure what I'm going to do when I grow up. So I'm always looking for ideas. That's why I keep my files. This is Hector, my Aunt Rosa's dog. <laughs> And this is Dr. Detler. She's a veterinarian, an animal doctor. She has her own clinic in Brooklyn. I guess I've always felt close to animals because they were in our home. And that dog that we had got sick. And the doctor who took care of her was a female. And I said to myself, I can do that. Is that what she's done? I bet you I can do that. And ever since then, I just kept saying it. And then I, you know, I went for it. And I got it. I did it. Foul note. Stop feeding Hector chili dogs. Ms. Tolliver says that even jobs that don't need math need math. I mean, when you think they don't need math, they need it. You know what I mean. Check this out. She's a TV director for basketball. The, the cameras are all numbers. Uh, the tape machine where it's cute is numbers. The character generator is totally numbers. I think it would be impossible to do this job without a degree of skill in math. I've heard that before. You guessed it, Miss T. If you didn't finish your journal, do it tonight as part of your homework. And this file business isn't always easy, especially when Miss Tolliver gives you a ton of homework to do. But I don't mind. Ms. Tolliver says that teachers are dream makers. I like that, because I have big dreams. Eddie, are you still up? Uh-oh, got to close the files. I have a feeling tomorrow's going to be a big day. <laughs> 